What's going on guys? Welcome back to JR Aviation and welcome to the Budget Bonanza episode number three. We got a super windy day here in Scottsdale, Arizona. I don't know if you can hear me. We're gonna hop inside in just a minute and head over to Wickenburg where we finally begin the paint. Oh my gosh, I can't. I'm screaming. Today's the day that we start the process of painting this plane and completely transforming the exterior. We're headed off to Wickenburg to head over to Master Aircraft Painting to begin designing the schemes and meeting up with Gus and checking out all the planes that they currently have there and going over what needs to be done to our plane to make it look brand new on the exterior. So super hype, let's load up, head over to Wickenburg, should be like a 20 minute flight. Okay, now the winds stop all of a sudden. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna film a little cinematic edit headed over there. No inboard audio, because the focus of this video is on the ground in Wickenburg talking paints. And we need your guys' help deciding what paint to go with and what different design elements we wanna incorporate in. So let's go. made it and there's Owen's ride home we'll show you all around that plane in a minute all right guys and just like that we rolled up to master aircraft painting where we have Gus with us to help uh, walk around the plane and go over some paint schemes and you know walk us through this process a little bit I'd be delighted Bonanza is a very unique plane it's sort of like a Mercedes uh -huh. 1955 Mercedes it's still worth rebuilding right no matter what condition okay Here's a little trick we pull. We send this out to buff. It's illegal to chrome that. Oh. It's against the law because chrome changes the metal energy. It's not approved. But when you buff it, aluminum looks just like chrome. Oh, yeah. You oh, have yeah. to take mothers to it about every two years. Cool. We also chrome this, this, and the ring on request. That depends what the customer wants. Okay. Is. I think we could do that, but comment down below, guys. All right. We also like to change these loose fasteners over to chrome so they don't chip as the life of the plane goes on. Okay, okay now sounds we good. We discussed changing the wing root seals. Notice how the last time they weren't changed. Right, they were, oh they yeah. weren't removed. Okay. All the overspray. Now it's about almost $600 to pull them off, put them back on, mm -hmm. and there's nothing you can do. You've got to get back in there. Notice this placard, I believe this is wing bolts are lubricated. A lot of King Airs have that. Okay. Okay, here we have the uh, stainless steel again. So this hardware is okay to this stays, or do you replace well, this? Well, you know, we, when you strip it, you tarnish it. So oh, you okay. gotta replace it again. But the whole okay. idea is with this, and by doing this, cutting this out, or removing it for paint, you don't break any painted annuals. So our paint job lasts longer. Coming around here, yeah. these screws, if you look on the ones that have been replaced, they have little numbers on them. They're structural. Everybody uh -huh. know what a structural screw is? Mm. Okay, well, it has a rated strength, and the threads start with a little gap. Uh -huh. Because if the threads went all the way to the uh, to the head, it wouldn't be as strong where that thread is. That's a structural screw. So we changed know. all of these. Okay. Gotcha. Does anybody know what a witness mark is? Okay. Nope. <laughs> what it is, is underneath this you paint it red. Yeah. Okay, all the way to that edge. And then the idea is if this slips a little bit, you can see that. It's just like some of the things you check when you're on your pre-flight. Mm. Okay? And we were talking, so a lot of bonanzas are prone to corrosion. So we, it doesn't really look like we have any visible corrosion, but as you were saying, just because you don't see it on the outside doesn't mean when I tear into it, you're not gonna find That's stuff. correct. It's normally white or black. They're both about the same. You take wire wheels, brush it all out, treat it, and it almost certainly won't come back. Magnesium was a good idea, saves a couple of pounds, but it's also prone to more corrosion. Mm. This model doesn't have it. But you still think you're gonna find some on our plane, even though it was an Arizona plane? That's correct. You're still gonna uh, probably find you've some. you really gotta take care of it, otherwise there's no warranty and you're gonna be looking for me in a couple of years because the paint's bubbling up. <laughs> okay. Uh, notice how it has the label, we'll put that back on. 
Okay. When we come around to do your your final inspection, we also make sure that that's giving us a, an indication. Coming around to the back, and oh yeah, the, the B we were talking about, whether we go no B, big B, medium B, uh, so the, the big B takes up basically the whole tail. As a matter of fact, depending on what you choose, in some cases it goes off the tail. Okay, that, that's one of the big things we need you guys to comment down below on. No B, medium sized B, or big B. We're leaning toward the big B. Uh, like in the big literally game. like going off the tail like you just described. We'll put in some pictures, but I think that looks really cool. This used to be a big deal on Bonanzas. This plastic cover is always broken. You have to replace it. It's no longer a factor. Okay. Another advantage to a newer Bonanza. Yeah. Changing the rotating beacon with a new LED. It's oh, lighter. right. It's lighter. Yeah, what do you guys think? Comment down below. Christian thinks this is so ugly and it's an eyesore and sticks out. So you're saying the, the new LED sits more, a little lower? Yes. Smaller? Yes. And brighter? Uh, yeah, it can be seen a lot longer, but you also notice that that's a little bit crazed from the sun. Welcome to Arizona. That happens yep. on the headlights even here. <laughs> this was an yeah. Arizona plane. Pros and cons to that. Wing walk. Some people like to put the wing walk on. Some people say, no, I don't want them stepping on my flap, but they will anyway. <laughs> also, the wing walk, we will round the edges normally. We also have had it farther out onto that uh, inspection panel, but there we leave a holiday so that you can take it off and put it on. We discussed the handle here. Uh, so, uh, yeah, what about the handle again? Well, you could, you know, the, the stripe may come through it. You may want it to be the base coat. You may want it to be just like it is now so you can see it. Uh, the I other see. thing is a lot of people send this out for chrome. You're not in really bad shape. That'll be replaced. This will be a stick on. This will paint on so you can have it any color or any shape oh. you want. We could make it white. We could make it uh, to match a stripe, just anything you want. Or black. black. Black is good because it doesn't show the dirt. Uh, okay, probably okay. we'll keep the black, nice fresh black. And what, what kind of material like is that? How do you paint that on? Very good. All you do is you strip it all the way off, you prime it, and then you start with the Jet Glow paint because it's a, it's a polyurethane tough paint. And then we just have a can with holes in the bottom of it. We just sift sand onto it. <laughs> and then you paint it, but when you paint it, you go this way, you go this way. <laughs> Wait till you've okay. got it covered, sand it some more. About the third time you're done. One of the things we're going to do probably is repaint the door jam and the baggage. Oh yeah, I wanted to get your opinion on that. It it looks like pretty good, but you're saying you could paint we all could. the way up? In the front there, we normally would buff that sill there because you don't want to get it all beat up with a seat belt coming in. Ah, so you can make that pop a little bit more, that, yes. that piece? Yes. Oh yeah, that'll look really good. How many Bonanzas have you done, do you think? How many uh, planes in general? Hundreds of planes? Okay, this year, between this year and next, we will have over a thousand planes done at this location. What? Well, but it's, it's 50 planes a, um, a year. Wow, okay, and then how many would you say are Bonanzas, uh, uh, roughly? Over a hundred. Wow, okay, so how does this stack up with the hundred planes you've seen? you know, body-wise, condition-wise, overall? How do you From what I it? can see, there's very little body work at this time. However, okay. we strip it and it's been through a fence, it's not in the log book, we're gonna have to do some body work. Right. As far as the condition of the plane, the, the condition of the paint, it looks very good to me. Okay, that that's great to hear, but of course we'll see once you start uh, sanding it down. How long does that process take of sanding it down? We don't sand it down, we chemically strip it. That, <laughs> chemically okay. stripping it down. And then we use Sea to Sky Innovations. It's actually biodegradable. You can take the paint, take the paint stripper, dump it in the trash. It's legal. Okay. You strip the plane and you go to dump those paint flakes, they may exceed the limits on chromium, usually from the primer. Mm, okay. okay. So how long does that process the take? The whole process to paint the plane from start to finish is six weeks. Okay, that's not bad at all. Yeah. Now, one of the best parts of this is, I've had several planes in my lifetime. We respect the fact that this is somebody's baby mm -hmm. and they want to see it. This is their pride and joy. And so we send them pictures every couple of days. There's so many nuances. You know, do you want the, you talk about wing tip tanks. Oh, the, right, the tip tanks. To come off here and then have a gap so it'll slide back on no matter how much it goes on, it won't be a problem. Right, okay, great. Yeah, we would love update pictures, as many as you want to send our way. That'll be great because then we can share with our viewers and constantly keep them updated with the process. Yeah, fortunate enough, we're local here to Wickenburg, Arizona, so we will definitely be checking back in for some future update videos. What's the furthest somebody's come? Africa. What? We've also painted a plane for a gentleman operating the remotely piloted vehicles in Afghanistan. Wow. We've done South America, we've done Mexico, Canada. A lot coming from Alaska. 
lot come from the northern United States, but we're more of an excuse to get out of the ice. Far and wide, all over the world. So you're doing a wide variety of aircraft too, not just single and small okay. distance. I hope nobody is offended. Flying is my hobby. I work my hobby every day. We have had a wooden fuselage jet, the Havilland Vampire. Wow. What? We've had beavers, RVs. We've had a bunch of RVs. We did a plane built by an engineer from Boeing. And it's the only one in the world. That was fun. Oh my and goodness. It's available. You can go take pictures. Wow. And and speaking of that, you have a few planes over there in the hangar that maybe you could show us that are like halfway through and one's um, almost done, right? Yes. There is only one reason that this paint shop works. And here are two of them right here. Hey, awesome. This nice to meet you guys. This is Manuel. Nice to meet you. They are tremendously hard working people. The whole reason these get in and get out and look so beautiful is because these people are dedicated. This is a caravan. This plane is going to Dog is my co-pilot and Dog is my co-pilot is a very dedicated operation where they pick up dogs at kill shelters and ah, take them to non-kill shelters. This is a lot of square footage. It is. paint. <laughs> and there's a lot of and paint. And prep. Okay, 172, you probably do these all the time as well. There have been 44,000 172s wow. built. Whew. Wow. And my father always said it's the best two place airplane built. <laughs> best because ever. my dad and my myself in a 172 plus fuel would be at gross weight. Yeah. So sure enough, all these are taken off. They were over there like we Correct. saw. So when all these controls come off, they have to be checked for balance. Okay. Don't get that confused with weight and balance. It's actually is the tail heavy, is the nose heavy. There's limits for every airplane. Okay, inside hangar number two. You do helicopters too. We do helicopters. This is just a little bit of a side product project. Helicopter people, the Bell 206s, doghouse, you always paint it white. So if there's a leak, they can see what color fluid it is. Transmission engine, ah. gearbox. And that's basically what we're doing on this huge 500. We're also painting the interior, okay? okay. But it's very common for nice. us to paint, paint helicopters. Uh, in our other facility, we just finished a Black Hawk and two <laughs> Hueys, and those wow. are going to fire suppression. Awesome, okay, and then this beauty here. This is interesting, because this is a lot of the uh, colors that we want to incorporate. We might, we might go with a gray instead of a white base, but we want a blue, and it's got some gray, so. This is not a metallic blue, however, though. No, it's not. I think this is... Just a gloss blue. I think this is Las Vegas gold on the stripe. Oh, okay. This turned out really nice. Ah, the end number. Decisions, decisions, whether right. we want to... I call a contiguous end number in that the shadow's touching. Okay. And then we talked about a double drop shadow where there's a space in there to make it look more 3D. Yeah. Now, you see this right here? This looks like a terrible paint job, but actually he can clean that all up because this area here wasn't prepped. So that paint will come right off and you'll have the lines that you can shave with when it's done. We're gonna put Pro Seal around the windows just like we do on the jets. Okay, great. Okay, yeah, you guys need to comment down below on the end number. Do we go with this continuous shadow? Do we go with no shadow or the double drop shadow that I'll put pictures up? I think we're leaning toward the double drop shadow, but let us know down below. Look at that behind the scenes of all the different parts. You got a lot of parts to keep track of. <laughs> oh, look at this baby. Cheyenne. Oh, and you ever fly one of these? Cheyenne. Never from Cheyenne. Okay, this is a Cheyenne. We're just about ready to uh, etch it, which is an acid wash to clean out, clean out all the pores to make sure there's no bimetallic corrosion. Mm -hmm. And then we allodyne it. Allodyne is a protector, but it also helps the primer stick. Then we prime it. After we prime it, we find more body work. We do that. We fill it in, and then we uh, prime it again, and then it's ready for the base coat. Perfect. Wow, look at that. Oh, we Cessna 180. Look at those tires. Holy smokes. Is he from Alaska? One of your Alaska customers? He's actually far north in the state of Washington. Washington, yep. One of the things we do on paint is we don't tell you anything. We don't lead the witness because then they come back and say, well, what do you think, Gus? Would this look good? Oh, yeah, it's going to be beautiful. You paint it on the side of the plane. He says, Gus, that looks like hell. You've got to You're to blame. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and the other thing is, you, you don't want to tell them what they want. You want the customer to decide for themselves. Ooh, okay, decisions on us, Christian. All, all right, so you gave us this booklet with all the different paint options. Correct. So uh, we are leaning toward that gray base. What percentage of planes do you think do a white base versus gray base? Non-whites, somewhere in the less than 2% variety. Oh, wow, okay. okay, so just about everybody does white. Oh, so that's yes. why we want to be different and maybe do a gray, but you have like, 12 different grays to pick from. So we're thinking one of these because we want a non-metallic base coat because metallic good. adds 
you know, a bit of money and, and we're totally well, cool with just... Well, but there's also, remember we discussed the maintenance. Oh, So if yeah. we scratch something on the bottom of the fuselage, we may have to paint major portions Ooh. of the fuselage okay. to match. You're right, solid color it is. So how do we know which gray to pick? We're, we're between... <laughs> okay guys, you clearly see all the names here, so comment down below which name of gray you think would look good as a base coat. We're thinking something a little lighter gray. It'd be cool to do like a Nardo gray, but that's just... That's a little too dark, so we're thinking something lighter, and uh, it does make the plane distinctive. Yeah, yeah, we will because stand out. You do have three weeks, right? We do have some time, and we can see what the feedback is from our viewers to incorporate that in as well. Correct. And then hopefully come to a On consensus. The other hand, your viewers aren't paying the bill, so <laughs> yeah. Just... yeah, they're gonna want to do all these crazy things. Speaking of crazy colors. Look at this. If we had a basic interior that could work with any color, it would be so fun to do one of these like crazy greens, turquoises, reds, purples, like so many different colors. But uh, with the blue on the interior, we definitely want to go with the blue exterior. And that's a very fitting plain color. A lot of people incorporate blues yes. a lot of times. So now is the blue decision. Um, oh boy. They're so slightly different. Okay, there you guys go. Once again, comment down below. We're thinking a shade somewhere in the middle. Not too bright like on our other Bonanza with the accents because our interior side panels are like this level of blue. And then, of course, there's like navy blue, but that looks darn near black until you get it in the light. So we want to go with something in this range. I like going off of colors again. I miss the ocean in Phoenix, Arizona. Or like a dark blue mist. One of these two guys. What? What do you guys think about that for uh, all the blue overlays here? Let's get in the sun a little bit. Okay, now. So there you guys go. Comment down below what blue. We're going to narrow it down what exactly we want. And then the black, if we go with some black overlays, we're thinking a metallic black. There's just these. Oh, wait, no. That's, that's some of the pearls. Here are the blacks. Okay. All right, guys, back outside. Owen's going to hit the skies here in just a minute. What are you riding back in? Check it out. So I dropped this plane off here about six, seven weeks ago, and it's going back to the Bay Area. So we did a little plane swap here, dropping up our plane, and I'm going to hop in this. Oh our home. It's another F-33A, identical. Hopefully ours looks this good. This what a beauty. Beautiful. And speaking about colors on planes, so this is a dark, almost like a navy blue. So when you get close, it's really pretty with the metallic sparkle. Gorgeous color, but it's a little too dark for our plane. So we're gonna go with a lighter blue, but this at least gets you on the right track of what the blue might look like with either the white or of course, we're gonna go with the gray base coat. That's what we're leaning toward, but uh, beautiful end product and it's getting a full interior done and uh, avionics. Oh, and by the way, don't worry. That's just a temporary end number. That whole graphic is gonna be peeled off when his new end number gets approved. So that's, that's not gonna be blue. That's just an overlay for the time being. Check it out. Out with the old, in with the new. Hopefully in about, uh, you know, six or eight weeks, we'll be going from that to that taxiing out of here. Oh man, this will be so exciting, this whole series. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Be sure to comment down below how many you know update videos we should do if you guys are enjoying the airplane content and Gus explaining the whole industry and his whole process. We could totally do some more videos because they're local. Such a nice advantage being only a 45 minute drive away. So I'm gonna get you taken off. You said this has a new IO550 in it. So this airplane was about a year ago and did a fresh 550 swap. So this thing is gonna be screaming out of here. Oh. Dude, this thing's gonna be a rocket. 300 horsepower stuffed into an F-33A. Basically our engine, just a little bit bigger displacement and more power. All right, here he comes. IO-550 Bonanza, let's go. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was wicked. He got up so fast. That echoed nicely. Oh, it sounds so good. Brand new IO-550. That plane, new paint, new interior coming, and a full panel getting installed. That plane is going to be gorgeous. All right, see you, Owen. Safe travels to California. Never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling Alright, look who came to town just for our airplane Citation Max Christening the new bird Yeah, like and subscribe There we go, there we go. Bam They say that it feels right